leading off the skinny this morning, the brand new trailer for Game of Thrones, and it is sending the world confused messages. Well, fans are in agony as it's still unclear if lead character Jon Snow is dead. Is he alive? One of the most successful TV shows uh, ever is now entering on chartered territory, showing images from season six as the series has now outpaced the books it's based on. And this new trailer raising many questions as it first showed the slain snow, but then some astute fans found a very quick shot where it appears a very, very much alive Jon Snow is riding horseback in a battle. Many fans have been freaking out, including our resident Game of Thrones expert, BK. What Yo, He's does right behind it all you. mean? Right behind Candace over here. Well, yeah, it's not just me freaking out, guys. I mean, it, everybody is. Deb is as well. Of course. Deb uh -huh. is right next to you. <laughs> she um, looks thrilled. Deb's but yeah, let's see let's see what some people are saying. Liza, J17, she's uh -huh. saying, I'm having some kind of panic seizure anxiety attack. Me too, Liza. What's <laughs> happening? Uh, others, like Guada Bloop, uh, they're inspired. <laughs> saying they'll be watching all the past seasons until the new one comes out. And that's actually uh, what I've been doing back here, guys, uh, just watching Game of really Thrones. Really, does. Yeah. But nobody knows. There. But yeah. that, now Game you guys know. I just sit back here and watch Game of Thrones. You do. Also, I'm wondering, was that the same shirt you wore yesterday, too? <laughs> <laughs> what are you so saying? Cute. Oh, my just God. Saying, I do laundry. Rough. You've been there are so the, long watching Game of Thrones. Are the dinosaurs alive? Okay, moving on. Mother or the dragons? What the mother of dragons? How about we go to Hollywood? Two uh. Hollywood filmmaking siblings revealing what they both have in common: being transgender. Yesterday, the second Wachowski sibling, Lily, born Andy, went public with her gender identity. Four years earlier, her sister Lana came out as a transgender woman. Okay, the two are best known as the team behind the Matrix movie franchise. Feeling threatened that media that a media outlet would out her, Lily made the announcement, writing her own headline. Wachowski brothers, now sisters. She also cited the 1991 film The Silence of the Lambs as having demonized and vilified the transgender community, adding, quote, we are not predators, we are prey. Okay, next up, the Kennedy Center giving major props to hip-hop music with its 2016 season set to delve into the music genre. And they've enlisted the talents of rapper slash producer Q-Tip, bringing him in as their very first artistic director of hip-hop. And he's well-suited for the task. Tip, as he's known, has been on the cutting edge of hip-hop for nearly three decades, best known for his early work with the group a tribe called Quest and producing some of the biggest names in the industry. The Kennedy Center Hip Hop program will include a poetry slam, a teach-in, and a dance competition. Excitement. And speaking of dance competitions, the new cast of familiar faces competing on the 20 second season of Dancing with the Stars has been announced. The official reveal took place yesterday on Good Morning America. We already knew that ABC Everybody Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z is in it, along with Jody Sweeten of Full House fame. But rounding out the women, actress Misha Barton, Kim Fields, known for playing 2D on the Facts of Life, UFC fighter Paige Van Zandt, and ex-wife of Donald Trump, Mar Marla Maples. They yeah. all round out the ladies. Okay, so for the, for the fellas, we'll have our fellow journalists, Geraldo Rivera, Boys to Men, Crooner, Wanye Morris, and America's Next Top Model, Niall DeMarco, and a trio of football players, former quarterback Doug Flutie, and two of the top players on both offense and defense, Steelers receiver Antonio Brown and Super Bowl MVP, Broncos linebacker Von Miller. It's exciting. I don't know who to, who to root for.